How do you get ready for a hurricane when all of the models look like this? Well, here's what we're doing. We have so much stuff going on. We have trees coming down. The tree guys have been here cutting down dead trees that might fall in a cage. So we're having to haul all of that brush. Uh, they're filling sandbags over there to go um, in front of the gift shop and in front of the food prep doors. And we couldn't get real sandbags. No, so, they so they're basically plastic bags with sand in them. We got sand, but no sandbags. <laughs> so we're making our own sandbags um, to try to get ready for any water that might come in the buildings. Um, both food prep and our gift shop are really our concrete buildings that would withstand a hurricane. So those are the two buildings that we're concentrating on getting uh, plywood for, shutters for, and sandbags for. Here is a look at Irma, still a very strong storm, Category 5, that is holding its own as it moves off to the west-northwest at 16 miles per hour. There was an unofficial observation site on Grand Turk that recently reported a sustained wind gust of 54 miles per hour. They've had some higher gusts over 65 miles per hour. Yes. And, and you are all flushed in the bathroom. I know. I have been, been running around like crazy trying to put stuff away because we, I never knew how much stuff we just have sitting around until I was like, oh, that's all going to blow away. It <laughs> so, kind of looks like the hurricane's already been here because stuff is like upside down everywhere everything's, I go. <laughs> everything's tipped over. <laughs> that's, everything's upside down. Everything's taken away. So, yeah, we're trying to put away as much stuff as we possibly can so we don't have anything blowing around. Who knew there was so much stuff that could fly? <laughs> so everybody's worried about yes. her being in her hospital no. case. So she's actually going to go back out today, so she'll be in her normal enclosure. So that will be better for her to withstand uh, the storm. She'll have her familiar den, and so she'll feel more at home. And Jamie just texted me and said maybe we should order pizza for everybody who's working during the hurricane. So we can certainly do that. do that. I can certainly order pizza. Absolutely. Assuming they're delivering. They might, might not. You never know. There's a Papa John's right up the street, so maybe we can go get it even. Sweet. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much You're for welcome. managing all this. Thanks. Your Howard's over was... here playing in the sand. <laughs> Oh, you got me on my only break. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's exactly. what they all say. <laughs> we got a system here. I'm surprised you didn't bring my truck. But you don't let me drive your truck. <laughs> You're sitting there on the counter. We've got a very good system here. We've got the contractor van. We cut them in half. And I don't care what anybody says, these two are good. They're hard workers. <laughs> Who said otherwise? <laughs> yeah. Don't people? buy into his trick. <laughs> what are you guys doing to get ready for the hurricane? Oh, getting pumps ready and generators ready and refueling. And the happy news is our fuel truck will be here tomorrow. Woohoo! So, talk to the owner of the company, he just emailed me, so we're good on that part. Everybody's been asking. And we're going to board up the windows around the new gift shop. Or Josh is going to do that, and we're going to board, uh, get ready to board up the windows on food prep. Get rescue. This is not a tiger drowning because of the hurricane. This is this is Seth Tiger playing with his keg in his lakefront home. Danielle, you're right. He is always cute. Oh, you just pushed it out over your head, didn't you? So, what are you doing to get ready for the hurricane? <laughs> Uh, well, apparently I am reworking my backup files for the computer so that not only will I have a hard, hard drive with all of my files on it, um, we're going to back it up to the cloud so that on the off chance that something happens to my normal backup hard drive, uh, we'll have all our files on the cloud. So. Why are you wearing your water running? Oh, fish tank. <laughs> fish tank, yeah. <laughs> and Gail has moved into the... Is this still called the Cougar? What no, is it called? No, we switched, <laughs> remember we switched it. Um, the Cougar Camp will now be my old house, and this will still be Gail's Palace. Gail's Palace. Spelled yeah. like Palace Cat. Yes, P-A-L-L-A-S, Palace Cat. <laughs> I know when my dad was hanging that sign, he thought we couldn't spell. Yeah, I 
he's like, they didn't spell this right. Warnings that are up. You can see the hurricane warnings that are in the shaded purple areas. That's for the Bahamas. Watches in effect for the United States, including Lake Okeechobee. Now, the storm surge up to 20 feet is possible for the Turks and Caicos. And for so much of the southeastern and central Bahamas, we're talking about up to 20 inches of rain through here. And we also mentioned the watches that have been posted across South Florida. You're settling in pretty quickly. Yeah, uh, well, I got the settled. office. I, that was the first thing I I got like organized and I'm still not really organized how I want it but it's it's getting there um, I I'm doing that like hit and miss you know I'm trying to keep up with all the daily stuff and then when I have a little bit of time trying to move files around um, I'm gonna I've got enough empty drawers that I'm gonna empty a filing cabinet because uh, they're locking filing cabinets and give one of them to Lauren for up in the gift shop in her space so she has some place to lock stuff up. Oh, nice. How so, are your cats doing with the move? Uh, they're doing pretty good. Um, I still haven't integrated all of them. I'm still separating them. They take turns having the run of the house. So um, because my big boy, Striper, is very... I'm like, Yeah, yeah. So I have to keep him and Marceline separated because they uh they fight but they're both instigators so it's like they're it's both their faults it's not like they're one's these <laughs> yeah they're yeah they're 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 not like one's picking on the other they're both very much a um um marceline always acts like oh but he's no he's just just as much an instigator as striper is so um all right well we'll get into this yep We cannot evacuate. There is absolutely no way you could move 70 big cats and no way to know where to move them to because these storms are so unpredictable. If you look at the cone that they're showing for Irma. Irma is very, very dangerous and we still cannot pinpoint the specific locations that Irma is going to land in for the Sunshine State. But just remember, it is expected to remain a major hurricane as it approaches Florida this weekend. Look at the size of this storm. It is wider than our entire state and could cause major and life-threatening impacts from coast to coast. Governor Rick Scott speaking on Hurricane Irma. You hear the seriousness in his voice and for good reason. Already the most intense Atlantic hurricane in 12 years and certainly posing a dangerous threat to Floridians, Georgians, and Carolinians as we go into this weekend. So as you can imagine, it's really difficult to get gas or any kind of supplies. We loaded up on what we could, but we found this when we went to most places. So this is Josh, and he's been loading up the travel uh, the trailer with debris that he's been hauling to the dump. Tell me what you've done so far this morning. Well, so far I've hauled, I think this is my second or third load of all that brush over there from all the trees. We took down um, all the dead ones, so we don't want them falling on top of cages and stuff. So we cut all those down, and now we're just hauling them to the dump, so they're not on property, and they're not going to be a problem with a lot of wind. And, uh... <laughs> possible hurricane so <laughs> and how so, much was your last load 19,000 pounds but I mean that was including the trailer and stuff too you know but <laughs> yeah we brought the trailer back <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's, that, that's a lot of weight man yeah But the orange shadings around South Florida and Lake Okeechobee, that's a hurricane watch, and that could certainly get upgraded to a hurricane warning later in the day. We also want to point out the storm surge watches that are in place. Here is a look at still the forecast for Irma, and you can see that just about all of the peninsula is in the path. Even though the system will be weakening, it is still expected to be very strong at Category 4 in strength once it arrives. Now we could start feeling the wind gust as early as Friday night going into early Saturday. So we're gonna have to watch for that very, very closely. It's going to wind up being an incredibly long weekend. 
yesterday of a tiger escaping. Now think about that. The circus has been moving tigers around this country for a hundred years. <laughs> You're so silly. He just got me soaking wet. You got me soaking wet. Ah, oh, that actually felt pretty good. It felt pretty good. We're already losing shingles on our cat hospital, so we're gonna have to repair these both before and after the storm. And we certainly want everybody to pay close attention to this. We know so many are already watching it like a hawk and need to continue to do so. Here's a look at the rainfall outlook through next week. You can see some places like Miami are forecast to pick up 12 to 18 inches of rain. Isolated spots, possibly more. We're working with the state to allow other owners to send their cats here to weather the storm, and this is our first arrival. We'll keep you posted.